do this thing. Yo! What up, everybody? Cardboard Moses, which you're welcome. Here to start our eBay break for the day. It is 2019 Bowman Baseball Jumbo 2 Box, number 17. Uh, like I said, for eBay. This is true, Billy. This is true. Anyways, let's see what we got here. I love the jumbo. Mainly because as a breaker, it's a lot easier to break than the uh, hobby version. More packs in the hobby. So it's just a little bit more of a hassle. So how was everyone's weekend? I did stream live yesterday. Uh, relatively early. I was live around 1 o'clock. Eastern time, of course, as always. And I shut it down around 8 o'clock. No, uh, around 7 o'clock, actually. Went to my friend's house to watch some wrestling. I don't know how many WWE fans are in here, but Extreme Rules pay-per-view was last night, and it was a pretty good pay-per-view overall. I was entertained. Alright. Let's see what we got. Good luck, everybody. We should see three autos in this. I'm, uh, well, the attendance, I'm not sure, but it looked like it was uh, somewhat packed. I mean, there were there were a lot of good matches. It looks like they're you know they're they're starting to 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 get back to to what made them you know famous in the first place and, and world renowned, and that's violence. Logan Webb to 499 Giants. What's up, Matt O? Yeah, I, I, it was really close to selling out. This, you know, the stands looked like they were pretty full. You know, for the first time in a while, the cameraman was able to pan out to show how many people were actually at the event, and it was pretty packed. Yeah, the last one had terrible attendance. But that one wasn't really like an actual pay-per-view. I mean, it was a pay-per-view, but it, it was like rushed, I think. But anyways, they they are improving. They are improving. Anthony Siegler to 499. Yeah, I know wrestling's not real, but it is quite entertaining to me. Let's see what we can get out this bone. We got a Giants auto so far. There should be two more autos in this box. Football right around the corner. I can't wait. Speaking of wrestling, I'm actually going to uh, to SmackDown Live next Tuesday on the 23rd. You know, I already told Jason he's going to be here on, on, on that Tuesday. So, that'll be fun. Right, Mount Castle, Orioles to 75. You know, I'll probably post something on the Rip City Instagram account. Because the event is here in Miami, obviously, at the AAA. So, you know, show you guys a little behind the scenes for my wrestling fans. We got Jose Suarez of the Angels to 150. Now, speaking of that, Billy, uh, next Monday night, they're having this uh, this reunion show. You know, Stone Cold is you know going to come back, and The Undertaker, and a bunch of, I think, uh, Razor Ramon is also coming back, Ric Flair, Kevin Nash, a bunch of... Old school wrestlers are coming back. I mean, I don't know if they're going to wrestle or not. Probably not. But, you know, it, it's it's cool for the nostalgia factor. 
Well, he, you know, he does Billy when I tell him to. Oh, that's a good one. Victor Mesa Jr. For the Marlins. Very nice. I hope, uh, I hope that goes to my boy Fabrice, who is the, uh, the only Marlins fan I know on this channel. I'm not sure who won that, uh, the Marlins, but congrats to you, whoever you are. And this Thursday, I'm not, uh, what's up, Fabrice? There you go. What's up, man? Did you win the Marlins in this by any chance? Dakota Hudson, 499 Cardinals. Keston Hero, 499 Brewers. I have a suspicion that The Rock will also come back on Monday. You know, to, to, you know, it's not a reunion show if The Rock ain't in there. And to my knowledge, you know, he's not filming any movies right now. I mean, that dude's always doing something, so. Wouldn't surprise me if he's filming another movie. But it'd be nice if he could take time out of his schedule. You know. Show up at that Monday Night Raw event, the crowd would go nuts. The the pop of seeing the Rock and Stone Cold in the same. Oh my God, could you dude? That would be amazing. I, the last time the Rock was in a WWE ring was probably like five years ago. The Rock is my favorite wrestler. Stone Cold, a very close second. All right. I mean, it'd be nice to hit a Super Frank or something. Yep, the Hulk will be at the National. I think Ric Flair is also going to be at the National. I would love to meet Ric Flair. You know, unfortunately, I don't think I'll have time to do that. Andres Jimenez, 299 Mets. I would love to, well, not Hope Solo, I don't care about Hope Solo. I thought you meant uh, my baby Alex Morgan. If Alex Morgan's at the National, I'm going to tell Jason to uh, kindly, uh, you know, do the job because I'm going to get on that line and I'm going to meet me Alex Morgan damn it that is I'm going to propose to her you know if she says no I don't know if I'm going to go on but damn it I'm meeting her if she's there hope solo I could care less yeah Billy I don't you know I don't want to say that but you know that's what I wanted to say Second in the last box here. So, yeah, yeah. Shatner's going to be there. I think Tyson might be there too. That would I would like to meet Tyson. Yeah, I've met Tommy Hearns before. That guy, class act. I actually got a picture with Tommy Hearns. And an autograph from him, too. Really cool guy. Awesome. Super awesome human. I wonder who I'll meet this year at the National. Pernell Whitaker passed away? What, today? Pernell Whitaker, one of my favorite boxers. That dude was a beast. Oh, man, he passed away last night. Man, RIP to that. One of the greatest of all time right there. Damn, hit by a car. Wow. That sucks. You know, aside from Floyd Mayweather, Pernell Whitaker, probably one of the best defensive boxers I've ever seen.
Man, R.I.P. Pernell, man. I, I gotta, uh... I gotta show my respects and put him up on the green screen tonight. We got Drew Waters, 499 Braves. Everyone had a great weekend. We got a Ryan Bannon Orioles autograph. I was gonna say, well, not really, Billy, but in that in that case, yes, I, I see what you're saying. I mean, boxing has been boxing hasn't been what a, you know hasn't been great in in a in a while. You know, the last time boxing was, like, amazing was with, you know, Felix Trinidad and, and De La Hoya going at it. You know, early 2000s. But it, it is it is getting better. It's just, it's a corrupt sport. Like, it's it's blatantly corrupt. Like, it's... It's, it's a shame. I love boxing. Another Rylan Bannon. Two Rylan Bannons. Back to back. This one's to 299, the White Sparkle Auto. There you go, Orioles. So there should be one more autograph in here. A super auto would be awesome. Yeah, whenever it goes to the judges, it's, you know, even before then, you know, I'm sure they, you know, they, they approach the boxers in the back like, hey, dude, I'm going to need you to take a dive on this one, bruh. If you don't, or else, is going to happen to you. Or to your family and loved ones. The other auto, Noelfi Marte, 499 Mares. Oh man, great movie, Pulp Fiction. They should have, they should have, well, I, I can understand why they haven't or they they won't do it, but Pulp Fiction, I feel like, is one of those movies that should have got a sequel that never did. Great movie, too. Like, I remember I had to watch Pulp Fiction like two or three times before I understood what the hell was going on. We have Dom Thompson Williams to 250 Yankees. Tarantino's one of my favorite directors. That dude is a boss. I mean, Pulp Fiction is not a movie that I would like to see redone. It's perfect the way it is. But uh, I, I feel like they should have a sequel to it. If anything, you know, they should remake, like, his first movie. Uh, Reservoir, actually, no, Reservoir Dogs is pretty perfect as it is, too. But I, I wouldn't mind seeing a remake of Reservoir Dogs. As long as Tarantino is, you know, heavily involved. Apparently, they're making an Avatar 2. I've never seen the first Avatar, so there's that. We got a Cubs talent pipeline here to 50. Very nice. Okay. And the last stack. What do we get? 
I think we hit all the autos, but a Super Fractor Parallel, maybe? Ryan Richardson to 125 Reds. And that's going to do it. All right. So, to recap the autos, we got Bannon Orioles, Web of the Giants to four ninety nine, Bannon Orioles two ninety nine, Thompson Williams two fifty Yankees, Jose Suarez of the Angels to one fifty, and Victor Mesa Jr. Marlins autograph. Very nice. And that's gonna do it for the break. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out.